Hello, everybody. Welcome to ICC's Game of the Week with your host, as always, Joel Benjamin. The rather disquieting images of women wrapped in headscarves from the Women's Grand Prix in Tehran have taken most of the attention, but there are some interesting games there, too. In this week's feature, we see an odd junction of theory and creativity in the battle between Zhao Shue of China and Georgian Nino Batsiashvili. Zhao's sacrifice on move 12 was likely planned in advance. If Batsiashvili, who famously drew Magnus Carlsen in Qatar, was expecting it, she must have forgotten something. Let's take a closer look at this short, sharp struggle. Okay, here we go. So we see it's d4 opening, and then d takes c4. This can lead to some excitement. It challenges white to play, uh, to, to try to, to take the center. Of course, white can play uh, e3 instead, simply, and that's going to lead to a type of queen's gambit accepted. But white has already committed the knight to c3 in a lot of lines. White often wants to uh, delay that move for a while. So after e4, bishop b4, attacking this pawn in e4 with the pin. And now Joe plays bishop takes c4. And, and I, th I really think that this is a, is a type of move that, that shows how chess has changed over the years and, and the current state of, uh, of, of how grandmasters approach the game. Uh, this move has become rather popular. The alternative is bishop g5 which has been played more often. It was, in the past, probably routinely played. And uh, then the most critical variation begins with, with c5, and uh, there's a very sharp move e5, but in most of the games you see bishop takes c4, takes queen a5, and I'll, uh, I'll stop there. And it's, it's a very heavily... Uh, analyzed and well-traveled uh, opening variation. Uh, seems like uh, the preponderance of Grandmaster games over the last few years have have ended in draws. So maybe at the top levels, um, the Bishop G5 is not considered to be uh, as as uh, testing as uh, as uh, Bishop takes C4, but maybe also it's just less played out. Now. What I said about how, how this this shows different attitudes about chess is that well that basically just hangs the pawn on e4 so white uh, white recaptures the queen's gambit pawn but gives away the pawn on e4 and then just simply castles so this is the kind of stuff that is is rather reminiscent of uh, of the molar attack in the in the Gioco Piano um, just uh, you know giving away a center pawn to try to castle quickly but in this case the e file isn't even open black has created no weaknesses and is simply just slightly behind in development. But, you know, with a king side that looks rather uncompromised. So, to me, it's rather fascinating that uh, white could, could get a very real compensation in this variation. There have been a number of games played. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, it just shows that I, I feel that uh, grandmasters are probably less materialistic than they, than they were, let's say, when I was a young player and, and a professional player an active professional player, I should say. Okay, so from here, knight takes c3. This is almost invariably played, uh, but bishop takes c3 is possible. And it's been very lightly tested, but uh, in, in the handful of games, it's, it's kind of done okay. Uh, now, of course, after the bishop comes to a3, black is uh, not castling or not castling very easily. So uh, he's going to go through some troubles for his two pawns. Again, it looks a little bit like, uh, now it looks a bit like maybe an Evans gambit, the way things are aligned. But again, the center is 